Hello chemists, welcome to HSC Chemistry and to module number six, acid base reactions. This is video number 22, where we're going to have a bit of a look at some of the applications of acid base techniques. The learning outcome that specifically relates to this video is that um, as a student, you can explore the acid base analysis techniques that are applied in three different areas in industry by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and using digital probes and instruments. This uh, dot point is really something that we're going to have to look at in terms of a very short case study, something that allows us to focus in on a particular industry and look at how it is that uh, acid base techniques are appropriately applied. Uh, some of the areas in which you will find industrial applications of acid based techniques include the food industry. We know there's a number of um, food additives that are uh, acids. They add a sour taste, but they also help to preserve food. And sometimes during the cooking process, we find acid based reactions actually involved uh, in the process of preparations of different foods. The mining industry also has applications of acid-based reactions, as do pharmaceuticals, petrochemicals, and viticulture. Um, the wine industry is also something that is uh, quite uh, familiar with the process of acid-based reactions. And of course, there are acids present in wines, and, and they also will affect uh, the taste and the quality of the wines. For indigenous applications, there are again a number of these that you might like to have a little bit of a look at. They kind of fall into two main categories, and that is that they're either part of the diet uh, or they have some medicinal applications. So I've just again listed a couple of them here. You can see photographs of the quantum uh, just here. And um, other applications of uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's use of acid base techniques or acid based reactions can also be seen in some of the uh, medicinal preparations. And of course, we've benefited a great deal from their knowledge uh, of which types of plants in particular produce which types of chemicals and what they can be used for. So again, a good opportunity here for a little bit of a case study into some specifics uh, around indigenous applications of acid based techniques. And the final area for you to have a bit of a look at is technological applications. And one of the things I guess that we are aware of um, as we carry out titrations is the um, labor intensive manner of titration. The fact that it, it is a very precise technique, it's very hard to hit exactly that uh, equivalence point or that end point when you're carrying out your titrations. <clears throat> and as a result of that, um, there are a number of devices now, technological devices, that can be used to automate the titration process. Some of these you'll find um, used in the food industry. Uh, we also have uh, an uh, improvement in the quality of technology associated with uh, blood sampling and blood testing. Some of the gas sensors, obviously the two main gases that we're looking at here are carbon dioxide and oxygen. Carbon dioxide in particular, um, uh, is something that when present in the blood can change the pH and therefore uh, there are some important consequences associated with not just um, how to ensure that there is good blood chemistry in terms of pH but also in terms of monitoring to make sure that the um, levels don't fall too high or too low. And I guess one other area that's a nice one to look at is wastewater management. Um, we know that there are a number of processes that are part of what happens to our water, um, both um, the water that's uh, kind of fresh water that feeds into our systems and gets processed into drinking water, as well as the water that gets flushed away um, and what happens to that. In terms of water treatment in general, um, acids and bases play a particularly important role. So the pH of drinking water is very important, but so is the pH of waste water. And this requires two very important processes. One is monitoring of the levels. So we need ways of determining what the pH is uh, in comparison to what it should be. And also in terms of management 
to know which particular chemicals we can add that may uh, help restore the balance of pH without actually creating more problems than they are solving. This is a very quick overview of the uh, applications of acid-base reactions and I'm sure that you'll have the opportunity to um, look at some of these in a little bit more detail during class time. Thanks for watching.